a blessed day, mga kasambuhay. We may ask, how many saints can you name? Who are your favorite saints? Do you know how many saints we already have in the church? These are the questions one usually remembers whenever we celebrate the great solemnity of all the saints, or as what we may call All Saints Day or Todos los Santos. All Saints Day was formally started by Pope Boniface IV, who consecrated the Pantheon at Rome to the Virgin Mary and all the martyrs on May 13 in 609 AD. The holiday was eventually established on November 1st by Pope Gregory III in the mid-8th century as a day dedicated to the saints and their relics. Around the world, however, the day is remembered with such devotion. Countries have different ways to remember our beloved saints, both those we know by name and the thousands or even millions of saints who are already in heaven. Our celebration of All Saints Day upholds our belief that there is a powerful spiritual bond a communion of saints, as we may say, between those in heaven, the church triumphant, and the living, the church militant. Simply put, this day commemorates all those who attain their beatific vision in heaven. My dear friends, as we celebrate this day, allow me to invite you to reflect on three things that this special day reminds us. First, holiness is for all. We are all called to be holy. Today's gospel reading is an apt reminder to be blessed. All are called to holiness as human Gentium 3940 and 41 would remind us. All are called to be meek and humble of heart poor in spirit, and peacemakers. All are called to be blessed. This is so that when the time comes, all of us will be united once more in the heavenly banquet prepared for us by our Father in heaven. Second, this day reminds us that our devotion to the saints is very important. The Saints are supposed to be our role models to follow. Most people are even named after the saints that when they grow up, they may imitate the lives of these holy men and women. The question is, are we becoming more holy each day because of our devotion to the saints? Is it our hope someday? Our devotion to saints may lead us closer to holiness, most of all to Jesus, our Lord and Master. Lastly, if we have devotion to the saints and can talk and ask for prayers from these saints whom we never really met in person, can we not pray with them for family members? relatives and friends who in their goodness have gone ahead of us in heaven. Aren't they also saints who also pray for us now? These persons whom we remember on All Souls Day are not far from what we commemorate today. We remember the goodness, the love, the care, and the sacrifice of those family members and dear friends who have gone ahead of us. They who have done good here on earth are surely also giving praise and song to God before Him 
in heaven. This makes the unique bond between these two days of November 1st and November 2. Thus, some of our cemeteries are called also Campo Santo, for there also rests saints of our time. My dear friends, may today's celebration always remind us that we are all children of one God, called to be blessed and to be holy like all the saints in heaven. Amen. This is Father Ray Reyes of the Society of St. Paul, all for the gospel.